how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Kyle Can Game. This is our no carnivores playthrough of the island. It's uh, very, very early in the morning. I am just finishing up making some kibble. Uh, because yesterday while we were going around, I found something that I want to tame. And uh, I'm going to get over there and uh, get ready. And I'll bring you along. Oh yeah, while we're walking over there, a uh, couple <laughs> couple little dumb things I want to tell you. Uh, so, the reason I had to make more kibble is because I was using some on the imprinting for the fairy army. Uh, and what happened... See, what had happened was... Uh, well, I accidentally ate a stack of like 13 or so. When I meant to be uh, imprinting with it, I forgot what button it was to hit, and I very, very, very stupidly ate it instead of feeding it to the fairy. Um, so, you know, that's fun. Uh, and then on top of that, I've got the Akatina in the fridge right now because, in another dumb move, I don't know what happened to my veggie cakes. Uh, they are nowhere to be found. Not in fairy inventory. Not in my inventory. Uh, I think what might have happened is I gave it to the moss chops. Or, sorry, not the moss chops. I gave it to the Akatina one piece at a time for that very first piece. <clears throat> but I think on accident... Uh, I gave it the whole stack on the second piece. I mean, it would be very easy for me to verify by just going and looking at the footage. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So, while we're out and about, we might uh, grab some honey if there's any readily accessible. And I also have all my stuff on me to, to tame a bee if we see a readily accessible bee also. Um, other than that, today, uh, while I was... Searching. I don't know if I found this on cam or not. I can't remember. But I found an Ascendant Chally Saddle. 147 armor. Which is obviously, like, pretty impressive saddle. Uh, so, I want to get a beer barrel going. So that, uh, you know, so that we can eventually tame a Chally. But I think what we're looking for today should be right up here if I remember correctly, is that, is it you? Nope, not you. Is it you? Yeah, level 135 Carbo. So let's kill this one, whistle to passive, and then run this direction. Run this way. Stay on passive, bud. And we'll start shooting this guy. Ah! Bugs! So many bugs! Kill the bugs. Mr. Turtle, you are so slow, bud. So slow. Is that bug bugged? <laughs> what an arc thing that would be. Ah! No, the bug is not bugged. Come on. Who's faster here, the bug or the turtle? Looks like the bug. Let me kill this bug. Come on. Why can't I reach you? This is that's so stupid. Seems like he's bugged again. And I can't reload. Okay. <laughs> Man, this game sometimes, I tell ya. And the bug's coming for me again. Let me pike this bug to death. All right, the bug is gone. Now we shall continue with the turtle. Boom, straight to the face. So yeah, obviously uh, we've been struggling this whole time with wondering what we're going to do in water caves, right? At least, you know, the, uh, the easy one, probably not too hard to cheese. Um... But the hard underwater cave, that's going to thats gonna be some significant issues for us. So we're going to try a whole bunch of things. Uh, 
hope that at least one of them works. Otherwise, you know, we're never going to get that artifact. But yeah, so we're hoping to get some high level carbos with high health and high melee. But the health, honestly, more important than the melee. Uh, and then I want to ideally maybe tame some more beavers and get some high level beavers with high health as well. Okay, cool. You're out. Let's go get the theories just for safekeeping. But I think that's going to be our best bet, is uh, probably some kind of combo of beavers or some combo of beavers and turtles or just turtles. I'm going to feed this guy five to start. I don't think it's going to take that much at all. But I don't want to let him be hungry or let her be hungry and lose any effectiveness whatsoever. But I'm assuming it'll tame up in one or two. But yeah, I'm going to wait on that. I'll bring you guys back when, uh, when she is all tamed up and we'll take a look at her stats. And hey, you know what? There's a high level monkey here. Let's just get ourselves a shoulder pet. And see what happens. He can carry some stuff for us. He can just be a good friend. There we go. Hey, hey, get back here. Get back here. Pick. Let me pick you up. Now let's take a look at our guy. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good looking, good looking little monkey friend we got right there. Cool. All right, back to waiting for. Uh, back to waiting on the turtle. It should be ready to eat at least once here pretty quick. Oh yeah, and he said, oh, 51, it just ate, cool. So it's going to take two. All right, good to know. Ooh, there's a Trudon or something up here I want to make sure we take out. Yeah, screw you, dude. Stay away from my turtle. Hey, there we go, got the turtle. Got her, let's take a look at these stats. 135 to 202, so it was a perfect tame. 4,600 health. 308 melee, 740 stam, 412 or 421 weight. I mean, get the kibble back. Uh, are those good stats for a turtle? I have no idea. I know on official, some people have like 100k plus turtles on the health, but on official, you have like weird psychopaths who have spent hundreds of hours breeding every single possible creature to f 254 points through mutations. So, you know, can't really compare myself to that. But uh, also, turtle saddles are not all that hard to find. Um, so it should be pretty easy, pretty good for us to... Um, for us to get a pretty high-level saddle that'll keep us extra safe, you know? which is uh, rather important. As we saw with the Beta Broodmother fight, where we took that major L, uh, even slightly improved saddles can make quite a big difference. Well, I guess we didn't see that, but we assume that it, had we been able to get better saddles, they would have made a difference. We know that the Prim saddle did not do much for us. Oop, is that a Perlovia or a Thyla? Killed Perlovia, cool. Uh, let's whistle you back to... Well, no, want you to stay passive so you stay here. theory has got a level. Let's put that into... Melee. And then... There is our... Honey. So we'll get five honey from that. Oh, I've never seen the turtles in the cryopod before. <laughs> they look so... So goofy with their little faces like that. Oh, man, I love it. Ooh, what level is that bear, too? 55? Not bad. Could be better, though. Alright, I'm gonna get this, uh... This honey, and we'll head home. Run! Run! Don't let the bees get us. Actually, is that the one, the same one that didn't attack me before? 
Because if it is, and we can like easily identify that it's the one on the left, we could have a free source of honey with no danger of getting attacked. So that'd be cool. But anyway, I'm going to get this stuff back home, uh, make a couple veggie cakes, and then there is one other thing I want to do, which I think I already mentioned, but it is... Uh, I want to make a couple beer barrels. So yeah, we'll see you up there. All right, we just got our two veggie cakes. So I just want to grab the snail real quick and then we'll set up a little area for him to, uh, for it to hang out in. Uh, I don't know, I know people say level food so that you don't have to feed them veggie cakes all the time. You can like make a batch, feed them and then they'll just you know, be full for like a very, very long time. I did s notice that like their food drops extremely quickly while you're taming. Uh, I don't know what that really means for, for when they're tamed and wandering, you know, but uh, we're gonna, gonna put a few of these up. Uh, whoops, I need two more of those, okay. And then we'll put this right there. Uh, what do I need for a wood railing? For two wood railings. Thatch and wood. Easy peasy. Let me grab that and I'll see you in a sec. Alright, last two railings going up. Let's jump up here. Can I not... Uh, can I not... Can I really not? Okay, well, we're going to throw the Akatina in here from outside. There you go. And harvest settings. Uh, no. So I don't have to do anything to you, right? Just, uh, why can't I get into your inventory? Options. Back. Change name. Unclaim. Back. Behavior. Enable wandering. And then you should just start producing, right? Oh yeah, we got some Akatina paste already. Cool. It's also going to make organic polymer for us. Uh, he's going to be trying, or it's going to be trying to escape this entire time. So that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. We got that set up. I also, like I said, I want to set up the beer barrels. So I'm pretty sure those are made in the smithy. All right, all right, beer barrel, missing wood. Holy crap, that is a lot of wood. Uh, you got anything, bud? Nope, all right. I'll be back in a sec. All right, got the beer barrels. Uh, I realized one other thing real quick, though. Uh, I still have those two veggie cakes in my inventory, so I got to find a way to get up to this dude. I'll probably just grapple up now uh, this one time. Or wait, I can just jump from here, right? I should be able to jump, clear that jump. Nice. All right. And you got some in your inventory too. Let's give you this. Um, and I guess, like I said, you level, uh, you level food on these guys, right? So too bad you couldn't have like the 14 grand on food that all my, uh, theories and that turtle had, but Let's get these barrels set up. I've never done these before. Like I, I mean, like I've said a million times, doing all kinds of stuff that I have never done before. So let's set those up. Can we set one up here? Well, I don't, it's going to be fermenting beer, so we don't want it to be too close there. Can we turn it after we, no, we can't. Okay. Um, cool. And then... Let's see, we need berries in them, right? So let's get, uh, let's get, what do we have the most of? We don't have, oh, we've got a ton of Tinto berries, cool. And then I believe it's berries and thatch, right, to make the beer. Oop. Flint hide, fiber thatch. So two stacks of berries in each one, one stack of thatch in each one, and then uh, we'll put water jars, right? Or do you have to pipe into them? Not irrigated, but what's a pipe or what's, nope. One, 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 and you. 
one, 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 and you. Cool. And then we've got a ton of water jars here. So let's grab those. Because, like, it wouldn't need to be irrigated and have a... Well, the jar is to hold the beer, right? So maybe it does have to be uh, piped into. Hmm, we'll have to check that out. Yeah, still says not irrigated. Okay. Well, we'll put two jars in each, and then we'll figure out this irrigation. So we should still have a bunch of water, or a bunch of irrigation pipes. Do, 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 do. We've got verticals. We need the cross ones, the T's. So that should just take stone. Uh, the T's, I can make two. Oh, they're actually, I mean, not expensive by any means, but more than I thought they were. Uh, we'll make like five. Oh, I don't need hundreds. Let's make a total of five. One, two, three. And then a couple verticals. And then I don't think we'll need water taps, but we probably will because I just said we probably won't. So we'll make two of those just to be safe. So water taps should be right along right there. Put some resources in there. And we'll go underneath. Let me in, please. All right, our super secret layer area. Uh, let's see, it's gonna be, where are the water pipes now? Oh, they're all underneath, aren't they? Ah, I can't see. I can't see anything. Well, we can probably just go straight underneath here. <clears throat> so, can we do vertical off of you? Okay. And a ver oh, okay, that's how that works. Okay. Cool. And then, can it go, it has to go forward or backward? Um, well, what's right inside here? That would be our stairway, so not ideal. But if that's what we get, well, can you pick those up after, uh, I can pick up the pipes. I can't pick up the barrels. Okay, so we'll put the pipe back. We'll put two intakes, or put two of the T's. Oh man, those reach out really far. Um, uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. But I just want to get them operating for now. We can always, we can always move the piping. And the barrels honestly weren't that expensive, so I'm not too concerned if we have to remake a bunch of those. But let's go vertical uh we'll do five six to start with oh and we'll need two intakes right because this will be a fresh water application so perfect have exactly enough to make two of those oh that gamma brood mother if only there was a beta one right there that would be so cool but no we have to uh you know, it's been a while since we said it, but we have to prove that we can't game, you know? All right, so that's all up here. Let's go underneath. Should be easy to find. It'll be the big pipes sticking through the floor. Should be right along there. Is it not? Would it... Where else would they be? Or am I too far over? Let's see if we can stand on this side. Oh god, this is going to be terrible footage, isn't it? Okay, I had to demolish a ceiling to freaking be able to see. But we should be able to get this all done right now, right? Come on. No, go down there. Go down. Let me get off here. 
Where are the vertical pipes? Right there. Okay. I really need some lights down here, apparently. That's good. And that's good. Cool. Let's get back up top and double check that they are irrigated. <clears throat> man, it was a real struggle bus scenario right there, man. Couldn't see anything, couldn't do anything, but are you irrigated? Thousand out of a thousand, dope. Thousand out of a thousand, dope. Well, uh, you know, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, you know, we got a little bit of stuff done. We got our first big turtle tamed up. That should help us moving forward. Uh, we got some beer barrels going. We did set up the Akatina uh, farming area. Uh, we got more veggie cakes made after Dum Dum Kyle lost his old stack. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we're going to call that here. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoy the, the No Carnivore Saga, go ahead and leave a like or a comment. And uh, as always, if you made it this far, I very much appreciate it. Have a great time. We'll see you in the next one.